Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and this is my desk, and right now this has been my life. I have this out. I'm going to make something cute out of it. It was going to be these little hearts all over, but I'm going to change that, and I'm going to clip this off, and I'm going to make some um, pieces out of it and maybe make a pillow or something so um that's the a project that i am going to be starting on very soon okay i'm gonna put that aside for right now because i do want to work on it um i have some of these doodads these we're going to get put into a bigger box I'm not sure what I did with them, so I could um, get my boxes down to reasonable sizes, but anyway, there's that. That's part of the bead collection. Now the bead collection, oh, how is everybody? It's so good to have you back with me, and it's good for me to be back. I have been totally swamped out in this room. I am really going through it. Um, deep cleaning. Um, it would be too boring to watch because I'm working slow and and my cat is still busy. Oh, here he is. Say hi. Hi. This is Luigi and he's busy. He thinks he's helping me, but he's not helping me at all. Um, but he, oh, be careful. He likes to chew on plastic things. He's got a real thing for it. So, <laughs> if you ever get a package from me and it's got little chew marks in it, it's so easy to eat. But I don't usually let them chew on stuff, so. Um, anyway, I have been totally swamped with this room. I am deep cleaning. It would be totally boring for you to watch. <laughs> Cat hair flying around. And so, um, Today I just brought you along to just show you a little bit of what I'm doing and um, some of the uh, things that I'm starting on next. Be careful, Luigi. This desk is precarious. Um, some of the things are... Um, sorry, he's distracting me. Luigi, you're distracting Mama. Um, oh, I'm starting to, um, <laughs> I'm done with beads and I've got to get the rest of those shipped out. Let me get Luigi down out of here. Oh my goodness. It's a dangerous place. It's as spooky as Halloween in here. Get you going. There you go. Okay, in the quiet of my space. I hope I didn't stick my boob in the video. Sorry if there's any guys. Um, so, my next job is paper. And I have 12 by 12 containers of paper, and they're in those iris boxes, I think they're called. And there's six, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, there's six 12 by 12 boxes per uh, unit. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine units full of paper. So those are going to get opened. The papers are going to go everywhere around my room. They're going to get organized and stacked. And once that happens, um, they're going into what I don't want. is going into a 12 by 12 or a 14 by 14 box. And they are three inches tall. And those, thank you, Shannon. They came in all my orders. I saved them all. Um, they are going to um, be a stack and then those boxes will go up for sale with that amount of paper, you know, or whatever's in it. 
So that's my plan. Let me get this. I keep a little water bottle in here for paints. And it was tipped over from the kitty cat. So that is where I'm going next. Um, but I needed to make a video because I haven't been here in a while. Um, so yesterday I went through all of my books. Second time I've, I've went through them. And I had two shelves full. The shelves are very deep and they were stacked deep and upright, most of them. And I had two shelves of them and that was enough. I just, I looked at it and I was like, nope, I can't do that. So now I have the ones, the books that I'm using all in a certain area and I'll show that to you when I video it. And, um, gosh, these look like they have pot in them, you guys. I ordered them from Amazon. I was just looking at it. Looks like there's pot in there. I don't smell it. That's weird. Eek. Gonna have to quit buying from Amazon. You get some weird things in your packages lately. Um, so anyway, I went through them all again and I purged and I purged and I purged. And now I have one shelf of books that are there. They're storing, you know, they're um, books that I will eventually use or I will put up for sale on my Etsy. Um, I am calling and cleaning and getting rid of tons of stuff. Um, a lot of junk was in here. Um, I've crafted my whole life and um, I'm not a young chicken anymore. I'm not an old hen either, but <laughs> I am just right. So, um, yeah, so I called through all my books yesterday. I pulled some books apart and uh, recycled the innards because I didn't want to use them at all. They were too fragile, um, too broken, that kind of thing. And um, I kept the covers because they'll make great little books. So I saved those. Um, what else? did I do? Let me look. I got a peek around behind me. Yeah, so all my books are on the bottom shelf, which is uh, my floor. My, my carpeting goes under there, and the books are on top of that. And it's not full all the way yet. Um, and it won't be. I'm not going to allow it. Um, those are the books I have for now, and when I use a new book, I can get a new book. But until then, I <laughs> no more books. Um, you don't need very many books when you are um, making junk journals. And, um, you know, you want to be sure that you get books that don't have super glossy pages. Um, these are pretty neutral, and I think these will work good in a journal. And... This is part of what we're going to do today, is take this book apart so that I can use these papers in a garden journal for next spring. And I can um, fussy cut some of these flowers out and use those in the nature journal. Um, and some of the birds and stuff, but look at this. Great pictures. Uh, this book is by Richard Adams, and it's uh, the, he's the author of Watership Down and Shad, Shardick, Shrad, Shraddick? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, I'll hold it up. Right there. Tell me how to say it. Um, Nature Through the Seasons, and it's illustrated by David A. Goddard. Um, scientific text by Max Hooper. So this one is um, going to get utilized in journals, um, not all of it, but 
a lot of it will and so I'm eager to go through that once again I have an old calendar that I found and before I had talked about um, turning these into journals so um, so that is going to be a possibility now this one I want to cut it in half so that would be how big is this anyway let's look it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and a half inches wide by uh, thirteen inches this way. So we'll cut it in half that way and this way. No, this way. And then we'll have two books, I believe. So these will get folded like this. And this calendar was by Susan Wingett. And she is a wonderful artist. But they'll, they'll go like this. Now you could use this as one tall page if you wanted to. Um, yeah. So it'll go something like this, and these pages will come together. But I'm going to, you know, cut the poor hen in half. That doesn't sound very nice to me, but this will be used for a future book. That one's going to go over there for right now. These are some old drawings by my mom. And so I have a lot of stacks of these, so I'll have to, um, you know, get that all together. And then um, I'm going to compile them and put them in a, a folder. This was hers as well. She was... A, practicing artist and her problem was is that she didn't like anybody to see her work at all. She didn't want to be judged. She just wanted to draw. Um, yeah. So that's what what she did. She Drew in private. Um, oh, she signed her name here, Joey. Oh, and that's my dog Sam. Oh, Sam, you were such a good dog. Um, she got pretty good at faces and horses. And she loved to paint roses. She could paint a rose, and it was always very beautiful. And uh, here's this old man again. So anyway, I have to do something with these and um, get them in a secure place because you know, I want to keep what she has done. She would just die if she knew I was showing this to anybody. I think the next one's a nude, so I not partial, yeah. And this next one is definitely a nude, so I'll pass it by. She liked to draw people and. Um, she was practicing, you know, in order to draw good people, you have to be able to draw them nude. So, a uh, little chalk. It never goes away unless you put something on it. So, there we go. That is my mama's art. Some of it. Very, well, actually, very little of it. Um, 
And these are going to go inside of here as well, so I have to fold them. So let's start here and get this out of the way. Um, I have a lot more. Um, this is not nearly all of it. Um, she, I have little sketches and stuff that she's done. And I just kept them all in... Um, You know, I just kind of kept them in stacks because I wanted to save her art. So we might as well just do this first and get this. Okay, she was sketching, making sketch areas for herself there. Yeah, she would draw like this when she's on the phone. I wonder if this is to mimic her father. Um, she never knew her father. Her father died what, um, right before she was born, actually. And uh, this was a class we took together, so I'll save that. Do again. The bunny, oh, how cute. So anyway, I just wanted to save it. It's just, you know, it probably won't mean anything to anybody else, but it means something to me right now. Um, probably make a little folder to put it all in and zip it closed. And put one of the kids' names on it. It wants her art. Oh, this is a lot thicker paper here. So, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I feel bad that she didn't feel free enough to, um, play with her art freely, you know. Um, yeah, I always felt bad about that. I wanted her to be able to do art and, you know, share her love of it with us like, um, like she loved it, you know, because she really did love her art, love doing art. So we have those. And I'm just going to slip this one in towards the back for right now because I'll need to either fold those or um, cut them down if it's just a little piece of art. So there's that. Thanks for helping me with that. Oh, I'll put that back there on that stack. This goes on that stack. Okay, so that, I still have a few beads hanging out. Rings. Um, a heart. Just some that were kind of left over and I need to... Just a little starter piece. And a starter piece. These would be good on a tassel, wouldn't they? A couple of bead caps. <sighs> I've been uh, expressing in my notes to people when I write that I feel good about clearing space. Um, I don't feel bad about it. I amassed a lot of stuff. It's been a lot of years. I deserve to amass a lot over all these years. Um, but it got to the point where I'm making journals and you know, if, if you make all these journals and they, they don't sell and I can't I would love to be able to put them on my Etsy site for minimal amount, but man, you just can't do it. You put so much into them uh, and time. And um, so it's not just the cost, you know, it's mass amounts of time. So 
I am rethinking my papers. Um, I'm rethinking uh, my books and um, the little bits and pieces of paper I collect because hang on I gotta this is where I've been putting all my chain so that I can um, get that all together sorry if you're seeing my face are you <laughs> I'm trying to get off camera <laughs> Aren't these beautiful? I love those. I have lots of chain, lots of chain, lots of chain. Uh, got some new isopropyl well, alcohol so that I can... Um, let's throw that away. I don't need it. Another little bead. So what was I saying? I'm trying to kind of clear a spot here so that we can go through our book and a couple of the other ones that I have here. I was starting to talk about paper again. Oh, paper is going to be the big thing for me. Um, I absolutely love paper. I love the designs of it. I love the feel of it. I love the scent of paper. Um, you know, everything. I just love it. Oh, and look, my thumb. No band-aid. Exciting. But it's it's still injured. And I was finally able to clip it off because it was broken. And then it finally grew out enough that the broken part was sticking out so I could could finally trim it. I was so glad. <sighs> and uh, everything sloughed off like the doctor said it would and so it's about feeling about normal it's still very painful um, I can feel the broken bone in here um, and right here I have what's left of a fingernail that has grown into the new section it's loose so when it healed, it just took it with it. So eventually I'll have to pop that out of there, I suppose, like a sliver. So there's that. But it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, it'll always look a mess. But I think it'll be okay. So, paper. I have this book that I found. And I have these things oh, right here. Now this is an old composition book and it was um, done in 1894. Uh, English History by Lester E. Laning, The Burls and the Guilds. So my first thing with this book will be to see if I can find the family. And if there is no family, because sometimes there's just not, then I will probably scan it and I'll put the scans up as, you know, digitals. It is American history, I think is what he said, English history. Um, so... He talks about whatever the subject was. Uh, 11th grade, Russ High School, San Diego, California, USA. Western Hemisphere, New World, discovered by Golemus, 1492 AD. Columbus is what he's saying. Columbus. Discovered by Columbus. Yeah. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, I need my new eyeballs then. It talks about Democrats and Republicans and um, it's just a lot of history and political and stuff like that. But it makes... Pretty writing in for a journal. 
So there's that. I want to scan that, but I'm going to first see if I can find the family. That might mean something too. It might be a treasured thing for a family member. And then I have this arithmetic book. So what I want to do with this is pull this apart. And then I'm going to put these papers in with all of these into a drawer or into a 12 by 12 box. And these will be papers that I go to for junk journaling. Um, so we're going to start by taking these apart. I have that one. I, this was a 1916 and it's in a different language. So that is one that I have been using, as you can see. Um, this one was the Tabernacle Choir book. And so this will go in for um, music sheets. It'll go in with this paper. What was this one? Oh, this is the typing one. So this will go into papers. Look at this. And I pulled it apart. Oh, look. Oh, let's make something. We could make. I don't know. Let's pull something out and make something with it. Why not? Um... These are the reports. I'll probably scan those first. I don't know. Probably not. This is the book of letters um, that I uh, bought. I can't remember who wrote it. But um, anyway, it's just letters. And I thought, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a letter in a journal. So that was why I bought that. No more of those kind of buys. Then I had these Lad and Bush Quarterlies. They're done in 1913. I need to do a little research on this. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is just take them apart and use them as originals. It's all about their uh, banks that they used to have, I believe, in Salem, Oregon. So, yeah. So, come inside and wait for the trolley desired. The bank is comfortable inside and all are welcome. Chairs are conveniently located so one can see through the windows when cars are ready to start. What a neat little thing, you know, to put... Um, you know, in a journal. Here's uh, for the accommodation of those who are unable to come in before 3 o'clock. Wicket number 5 is open until 5 o'clock. Entrance at side door on State Street. Very cool. Safe deposit boxes. I know th these would be really good if I could scan them. And I will look. But I think because it's put out, oh, it's put out by Ladden Bush Quarterly, so um, I may be able to go ahead and scan some of these, but I need to find out first. Um, the ads that are in here. Just look at this. Moore's Block, northwest corner of State and Commercial Street in 1864. Very cool. Moore's Block and Macaulay's Starkey Company store, now C.H. Hinge's store, as they were in 1861. Very, very cool. So there's some a little bit of history in there and stuff, and I think these will make um, good pieces to go into journals, age-wise. Then I had this one. Um, I don't use it very often because uh, it has a lot of red in it. Um, it is already pulled apart, I believe. And this one also makes great little fold-over pages. Um, it does make nice stories. 
So here's one on the Star Spangled Banner. And um, so, you know, it does have some cute little things in it. And you might like something cute in your journal. You know, so that's that. This was just a piece of paper I had, and you can tell it's been typed on. I don't have any idea what was said, but yeah, very cool. So there's that, and now we're back down to this. And that is the book I want to use when I want to put some different languages in my book. I don't know what it says, and you know, Mostly I cover those things up anyway. So I don't think I have to worry about it. So anyway, it's kind of like a blogosphere today, isn't it? Got y'all caught up on what I've been doing. I have just been so, so busy in here. And I've been enjoying it so much. Um, because it's something that I've needed to do for a long time. And, you know, I could tell that, I, you know, I, I couldn't quite figure out what was going on with me. Um, but I was losing my mojo fast. And um, I just realized one day when I walked in here, I didn't want to be in here anymore because it was too messy. So that was the problem, was I had just amassed too much stuff, and there was no fun in it anymore. I got a little tiny thread right there. Um, let's see, where's my, where's my tools? still got one too. So anyway, here's the thing I want to tell you about becoming a junk journal. You do not need a bunch of stuff to junk journal. You need just stuff you have around the house is fine, to be honest with you. Now this one is glued. <laughs> Well, I think it might be glued to, a lot of times they glued some pages together. Um, I would like to keep these nice big pages because I think in the nature journal that I'm going to do, these will be very nice. Don't you think? Make a nice um, page to put inside the journal. I definitely want to try and save those pages there. Oops, I just ripped it. Look at that. We can glue that. That's what washi tape's for. Yeah, and then it's glued. <laughs> oh, you smart little book, you. He says, don't take me apart. I'm a good book, really. What a cute Christmas scene that would be. So, you know, take heart when you're, um, when you start junk journaling, you know, really, really think about what you need because I just started amassing stuff and um, 
Because I thought I needed it. Well, you don't. What you need is what's important to you. Maybe a few books. Um, I There's books I could suggest to you, um, if you like, um, that I think are important to collect for junk journaling. And I can tell you why I think those are good ones. These are all glued. Um, except for those few front pages. It's all glued together. And so on. Glued and so on. So I, I am more than happy to show you my collection of books that I absolutely love. And I do have them cut apart like I'm doing this. Because I want to be able to use them without hesitation. So in order to do that, you need to take them apart, take out the important pieces. And um, there's another one. So that you can use them immediately without <clears throat> worrying, you know, without taking the time to do it. So make a video with me. Get out your book and start taking it apart. Now, a lot of these pictures will get pulled out and they will be fussy cut. I am going to work on some fussy cutting while I watch TV in the evening with my hubby. So I'll have a... Oh, my thumb. My thumb did not like that. Um... But yeah, that's when I'm going to do my fussy cutting is in the evening. I'm going to take out a little box that has my scissors and something to toss the fussy cuts into and, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, it has a lot of these beautiful pages. Oh my goodness. You know, I think probably the most important thing with a junk journal is, you know, you probably want to have like some regular paper of some kind, old or new, and pages. And then go from there because, gosh, there's so much. Just so much you can do. Now that's another center page there, but... But it's glued in. We will get to that in just a moment. I am glad these come out easy. He must have thought, someday somebody's going to want to take those pictures out of there and look at them. Well, he was right. I love that one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, an owl. Birds, a swallow. And uh, maybe a little hawk or um, smaller than a hawk. Like a crestal or something. Blue jay. Butterflies. You could play the can you see this in the picture. Why, yes I can. And there it is. Goose grass. Gosh, that's beautiful. So anyway, I just wanted to come in and let you know what I was doing. And, um, you know, kind of catch up in my world of what I'm doing today and um, 
getting ready to start on all that paper. I've decided to start bulking my excess supplies into boxes and I'm going to sell them by the box. And I'll let you know when they're going onto my Etsy site. I'm looking at um, a website so I can, you know, start managing my own stuff instead of having Etsy manage it. Um, it just feels like maybe that would be the right thing for me. I don't know. Might not be. I'll still keep my my Etsy site. And, you know, now that I've finally got the shipping pages figured out, oh my gosh. That was such, has been a fiasco for me for years. Because every time I read through what they wanted you to do to make it right, um, it just didn't work. And well, I found out you have to finally clear it all out completely in all the little areas where somebody, this person's listed, that person's listed it. You got to clean all those out. And then, and only then, can you clean it all up. Which is what I needed to do was get it cleaned up because it was driving me mad. I'm not game for, you know, making other people rich while I'm still poor on this Etsy site. So, um, yeah, it's been work. I'm looking for my knife, of which I cannot find. Um... I'm hearing a bunch of noise. It sounds like it's outside. Might be in my my room across the hall. Um, my knife is gone. Oh dear. Oh. Oh gosh, it's behind everything. It's not in there. But, yeah, I think I might have a Happy Meal from Carol. Oh my gosh, I got a, Carol, I'm sorry, I forgot to Venmo you. I'll Venmo you as soon as I get done here. Sorry, Carol. I owe Carol money. Let's see. That's from Tracy. Anyway, I'll share Carol's package here and just, um, next video okay well oh we were gonna make something out of this was it this one i think it was i was just thinking that um, these would be good for pocket pages in a journal so let's quickly try it um, we've made these before. Um, Rachel at Roxy Creations uh, showed us these. And where you just fold these in. Now, you do want to be careful of the this area so let's leave a space so when it gets into the new book it is okay um so i will be doing some of this stuff making quick little pages uh and just, you know, there's just things I, I have to get done. So my videos may be off and on. I'm going to try and get back to filming all the time like I like to do. 
because I love to film. But, uh, yeah, I just really need to to get um, I need to get things cleaned up so that um, my creativity is sparked again. When you dull down your creativity, it doesn't help. So I do want to say, though, you know, if you want to get into junk journaling, don't amass things. Just start with what you have. Um, use your creativity to um, create um, different kinds of art for your pages. Use color and pencils and um, stamps if you have them. Uh, find some little birds that you can cut out and put on pages. Like, this is such a pretty bird. Wouldn't he be pretty on here? So, I'm going to tear him out. And we will just give it a quick fussy cut. That's a straight cut. <laughs> now, I am cutting right against the piece. I don't like a lot of um, extra white on it. I don't know why. It's just my preference. A lot of people like to fussy cut. Um, and leave a space there. Well, I don't like to. I like to clean out the extra pieces. Usually I like my long scissors for fussy cutting because you can watch where your scissors are going and not where they're cutting really necessarily. I'm going to switch over to my little one so here in just a second. Don't mind a little bit of white. Um, yeah. So it's been quite a interesting time in here figuring out um, how I'm going to store things and um, I'm limiting myself on you know how many areas I can utilize and one thing I'm looking at right now is that I want to get rid of half of the drawers in here that I'm using for paper. I don't want to get, you know, I want to move all of my paper like this into the 12 by 12 boxes. It, that's what I want to say. Um, and the reason I want to do that is because um, I don't want to wonder what, what's where. I want everything to be marked. And I don't want to wonder where it is anymore. I just want to say, oh, that's the box. It's got a label on it. And I want to pull that labeled box out. Use what I want. Put it back. And work more efficiently. There we go. Not too bad. I got a fuzzy string on me. So let's put him on there if he fits. Um, 
It's always nice if he's looking. Look at this. Sorry, Silk. But sometimes... Oh, see now, when he's looking outside of the book, it's like he doesn't belong there. Here, he belongs. So let's glue him right there. You can um, ink around these if you want. I'm not going to today. Today I just was making something quick. But... Yeah, I do hope to get down to quicker projects and... Um, stuff like that. What do you think about like that? He's probably looking at a little bunny or something like that. He's hungry. But we didn't put a bunny down there for him. Nope. No bunnies for you right now. So, anyway, then we would need to find a hole punch. And I know I have some here. Oh, goodness. I'm not organized for all of this yet. But I will be. Still working on the pumpkin on the, the walnut pumpkin. Not the pumpkin. Still working on. I'm going to make this notch on both sides. There. And let's look here. Let's just do it this way. There. Nice. So there we go. How cute is that? And then of course you'd make a card to go inside. And why did you glue like that? I'm not supposed to glue like that. When they glue funny, carefully go down there. See where your glue problem is. There we go. Yeah. So anyway, I will um, be letting you know when I'm going to have a sale. And, uh, yeah. And... I'm not using that on there. Mm -mm -mm. No. I'm not going to. Oh, let's see. There we go. Perfect. And I'll definitely share on my channel, you know, what's going on. Um, what, what, what I'm doing. And eventually we're going to do a complete walkthrough of this room. Um, but I do want to get through all the paper first and get my shelves labeled. So I'll probably bring you along for a labeling session. Why not? That would be fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, you know, when you finally come down to doing the things you want to do and, um, and you figure out that you don't need all this extra stuff. 
Yeah. It's uh, settling. Very settling. Oh. This is where I got the sorry silk crown was from this towel. I am sure. Turn that up. There and here. There. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at that. So this page measures um, almost five inches. So it will fit in your book pages. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So it'll fit nicely in a journal. Um, I have my little journal here. I've already sewn the pages in, but let's just see how it would fit. This is a small journal, but yeah, yeah, it will fit nice into a, a regular size journal. And uh, you can see how lovely they are when you put a bird on it and give it some washi tape and it's got the old edges on it and uh, yeah very cool I like it what do you think oh that's for the fall journal you can see I'm keeping my little bits and pieces together for now that's my chair squeaking Yeah, so I think that's all I have for today. I appreciate you joining me, and I'll be back tomorrow, and maybe we'll do some more of this um, making page things. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And then after I get this stuff kind of taken care of, uh, I'm headed over to the 12 by 12 boxes sometime today. And... I am stripping them all down and making boxes to put the paper into that I want to get rid of. I know there's a lot of it. Uh, it's time. Time. It is very much time. So anyway, thanks for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this little quick make and I sure enjoyed visiting with you and uh, kind of giving you an idea of what my plans are. And, uh, yeah, lots of fun. So, anyway, I've missed you guys, and I will be back tomorrow. Big hugs, everybody. Bye. <laughs>